Hey there everyone, today we're going to do a different type of test. Today we're going to do a test of the Roborock S4 and its ability to not only navigate my hallway, but to navigate my hallway with a few obstacles in the way. We'll be running the Roborock S4 on a quiet mode because this is not a pickup test. This is a test to let you see how the Roborock line of vacuums navigate. And let me tell you, they do an excellent job navigating I'm very impressed with their ability to navigate. Uh, I also have a Neato D7, as you can see, sitting over there. And uh, check out my other video to see how it did in my hallway here. And as we get underway here with the S4, you can see I have laid out a few different types of obstacles in my hallway. A chair, some shoes, socks, t-shirt water bottle uh, bowl down there is really lightweight this chair legs here for it to navigate a trash can will it knock it over how well does it get around the trash can the difference between the robo rock and the neo is clear that the d shape of the neato vacuums it's supposed to be better at getting around obstacles like chair legs and up in corners and along the wall. So this will give you an idea of how well the round robot from Roborock can navigate certain obstacles and how close it can get. Let's see if I can get in there. Can't quite get up in there. Got a lamp here and a cord across the floor to see if it can manage to make its way across the cord without getting tangled up or caught in a cord somehow. Side brush spinning there on the front right side of the robot. It's just got one side spinning brush which helps pull debris in from the sides of the room and pull it into its center mounted seven and a half inch roller brush. And it is just pushing stuff out of the way, pushing it along. Uh oh. Can it get away from this? Is it caught in the cord? Well, looks like it turned its side spinning brush off. How's it going to do with a t-shirt now? Is that going to be a problem for it? It's decided to turn back on in the side brush right here at the t-shirt. As it makes my make it makes its way back up through my hall. I can tell you, I've had this uh, robot vacuum in my house for almost a month, and uh, retails for four hundred dollars on Amazon. And I have been quite impressed with this little guy. It has done a marvelous job keeping my house clean, and that has been comparing it with the Nito D7, which I'm also very fond of. And you can see and check out some of my other videos that I have. Uh, here on YouTube comparing these two awesome robots. I consider them two of the very best out there The Chinese Manufacturer robot Robo rock has done an impressive job with this vacuum for sure <clears throat> Excuse me Their job is to make sure that they get every little square inch of your floor and it uses laser-based navigation which is mounted there on the top to map your house and also navigate it in subsequent runs. Unlike the Neato D7, the Roborock vacuums do not have an option to turn on general care navigation, but I will tell you that they navigate with they don't bang into things. 
They will tap stuff occasionally, as you see it here tapping those chair legs, but that's not very hard and it certainly wouldn't damage your furniture. You should be finishing up here in just a few moments. I'm gonna let you watch the entire navigation and make sure it can get back to its base. goes back over the cord, hits and is pushing the water bottle. Didn't knock it over, but it did push it. As it comes back across the cord here, narrowly avoiding getting tangled. This Robo Rock S4 is yet to get stuck in my house, so if it gets stuck now, this will be the first time it got stuck with you seeing it with me live. It's uh, It's been a pretty good robot vacuum as far as navigation goes. I've been very impressed with it. I highly recommend it too at this point. I will be doing a full review on the Robo Rock S4 and my final thoughts along with the Neato D7. So stay tuned, subscribe, comment below if you have a robo rock robot vacuum tell me what you think about it have any questions feel free to ask please make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content more reviews on these robot vacuums these two specifically right now i would appreciate it if you like this content please share it with your friends Looks like it is finishing up now. So, final observations. I think the Robo Rock S4 did exceptionally well, and I really expected it to. Watching it go around my house over the last um, <clears throat> several weeks, that's about three and three and a half weeks I've had it now, uh, has really uh, impressed me a lot, especially compared to some of the other uh, robots out there that. Uh, don't use laser-based navigation. Uh, these with laser-based navigation are what you want, in my opinion. If it's something that's out of your price range, you may want to hold off for it because it can handle stuff like this with no problem. Didn't get tangled with the cord. It did push the water bottle around a little bit, but it did not knock it over. That's important. Uh, the plastic bowl here, which was empty, it did push around quite a bit. Did not get tangled with a shirt. Did not get tangled up here with the shoes. Uh, overall, I hope this video was helpful for you. Again, if you like this content, make sure you hit that like button down below. All right, thank you so much for your time. Have a good one.